let's look at a scenario where we have bat and a ball this is the bat and this is a ball moving towards each other and when the bat hits the ball when they collide how do the relative velocities pan out with respect to different frames of reference such as the bat or somebody observing from the ground and so on so let's look at that in detail in this case we have a ball as shown by the blue sphere here let's say the ball is moving towards the bat with a velocity u let's take this as the positive direction so this becomes the negative direction it's moving towards the bat with a velocity u the bat is swinging towards the ball to hit it with a velocity v in this case relative velocity of the ball let the ball be the small v and the capital v be the bat relative velocity of the ball as observed from the bat with respect to the bat will be vb the ball minus velocity of the bat this is nothing but u minus because u is in this direction is positive u minus vb is in the other direction so it's minus v this becomes u plus v so this is the relative velocity of the ball as observed from the bat suppose somebody is observing it from the bat a tiny man then he will see the ball approaching it will appear to him as though it is moving towards him at a speed u plus v this is the relative velocity of ball with respect to bat now after they collide let's say they collide what happens let's say it's a perfectly elastic collision the coefficient of restitution is one so it, there is no d from a permanent loss of uh, kinetic energy and all that it's a perfectly elastic collision there's a complete elastic bounce back of the ball so after hitting uh, the ball hitting the bat or the bat hitting the ball they after they collide the ball will start moving in this direction with the velocity u plus v so the velocity relative velocity of the ball with respect to the bat will be minus u u plus v because this was u plus v it just reverses direction so it becomes minus u plus v so for a person sitting on the bat and observing the ball it will appear to move to him with u plus v and since it's a perfectly elastic collision it will appear to go away from him with minus u plus v because in a perfectly elastic collision the relative velocity before and after are the same that we have seen earlier but in addition to that if imagine the bat was stationary the ball comes and hits the bat there's a perfectly elastic collision and it goes back so if it was moving towards the bat with u in this direction and hits it the relative velocity of the ball with respect to bat initially will be u and after collision will be minus u for a person observing the ball from the bat if the bat is stationary now the bat was moving and hence this becomes the relative velocity after collision minus of u plus v in addition to that the bat is also moving so something else they needs to get added to this let's understand this in a little different way let's say there is a moving aircraft or you know in the sky this plate or a flying object is moving and there is a person standing on it and uh, for he starts shooting a projectile from the moving object with the velocity u for him this whole thing is the frame of reference this moving object so when he shoots something with velocity u it will appear to this person with relative to the you know this moving spacecraft or a moving object the ball is moving with velocity u in that direction right but for a person on the ground what will what how will it look like it look as though it is moving with u plus velocity of the flying object why because this person is standing on a huge flying object right like the earth or something so when we throw a ball on the earth it looks to us as though the ball is moving with the velocity that we projected it with it is u but for a person standing outside the system of the flying object and observing he already sees this flying object moving with velocity v in this direction so he will already be seeing a moving v in this direction and from that something with moving u is velocity u is projected so it will be v plus u for this person so from a moving object since it is projected already i am looking at something moving at v 
when something else is projected from it at u velocity, it becomes u. Same way, already if I am observing from the ground, let's say this observer jumps to the ground now and then looks at his whole ball and uh, bat system. Initially, he will see the relative velocity of the ball as u plus v because both are moving towards each other at velocities and so it will appear to him as u plus v. But after collision, what happens? The bat, he always sees the bat moving at velocity v this way. So the ball is projected from the bat which is already moving at v in this direction. So initially it's u plus v in this direction and then it becomes u plus v plus v for this person because as we saw here, the ball is appearing to be moving at u plus v v plus v because it is projected from the bat which is already moving at v. If the bat was stationary, it is just u and minus u. It reverses direction. But if the bat is moving, there are two things that are happening that are happening. One is the relative velocity becomes u plus v before and after the collision with change of direction. Now since the bat is moving, as we saw in this case, the ball is projected from the moving bat. So the v also appears to get added to this person who is observing it from the ground. So for a person observing from the ground or the wicket, the relative velocity of the ball after collision will be u plus 2v in that direction. Right? So this is what I wanted to share. Thank you.